Hello, and welcome to Watery Grave, the Thief 2 fan mission by Squatterprime. Let's read the briefing. In these harsh times, when those in my profession do not hesitate to stab each other in the back anymore, I wouldn't refuse a little help when it comes to buying my associates silence, or silencing them altogether. There is one such secret that the superior friend of the Gloomside Church would have wanted to bury, and that's being passed by word of mouth in the Old Quarter Taverns. A passage to a forsaken cellar was apparently discovered during the renovations in the church's kitchen. I usually find very little interest in that kind of gossip. Stories of passages and tunnels discovered in basements are not rare in the city, as it was built on top of another one. But that story should explain why the good monks can suddenly afford deliveries from the best local traiteurs, while water and groats should be their only meals. Either they're too dense to hide their recent wealth, or their new prophet offered them quite the substantial fortune. In any case, I must act quickly if I want to seize my slice of the cake. Mechanists. Yet another Hammerite separatist sect. But that one differentiates itself from the others, and by some strange miracle hasn't been disbanded yet. Sects like this usually don't last this long. Well, I always wanted an excuse to visit their temples anyway. Perhaps I could find something that would be of interest to my fences while I'm there. After all, we thieves must live following fashion trends and the latest fad is religious trinkets from these mysterious monks. So let us begin. Years in the streets told you that some rumours aren't just based on hearsay. Find this mysterious chamber and acquire whatever riches it holds. Merchants are increasing their stock value in these hard times. In addition to whatever you're supposed to find, steal 200 in loot to keep your pantry full. Once everything is done, return to the gate where you started. On the footpad difficulty, we go up to Thief. The burgers and aristos are like a fighting tooth and nail to get their grubby hands on these mechanist trinkets. They could fetch a really good price on the black market. Find three of them. Find 500 loot. You're a thief, not a lowly footpad or some cutthroat. Don't kill anyone. Ghost adds... A pawnbroker from the street supposedly owns a funeral mask from the Arthur South. Make it yours. 800 loot gold. You're a thief, not a lowly footpad. Don't kill anyone. Okay, it's called Ghost Difficulty. But it doesn't have an objective that says... Don't get spotted, right? doesn't. So I guess we're going to try it. And forced ghosting is not my preferred way to play. The cellar door always open. Oh, we're in the town. No map. Someone's house there. Which way are we facing? Oh God, there's mechanists patrolling the streets now. What do we have? Solid blackjack. Broadheads, waters, ropes, lockpicks, and compass, no flash bombs. <laughs> oh, there <you> go. <laughs> Dear patrons, the cellar door will be closed tonight for a private party. If you need your liquor, I invite you to visit my good pal's alehouse, the Pellucid Taxman, at Chasseret Lane, two streets from here. I apologize for any inconvenience caused by this event, etc, etc. Rayo. Where did the hammerite go? I don't know. Let's take those apples. Okay, we could go, we could maybe get up here somewhere. There's a ladder, there's some vertical climbing to do. Hello. Moss growing in this little battery vent. Oh, those are steel beams. Okay. Or iron. Oh, so the ladder going up to a door that is not and door that's and there's a window that's that is a door strange I mean ladder going up to a door that isn't a door is not strange it's... I don't know I don't... just do not understand the authors that decide we'll put a thing that looks like a place you can go and then you can't go there I was like why the hell why would you do that why do you design that way Thought there's somebody in here, but I 
seems not. Mm. Carrot, 12 pence per bunch. Plipperagus out of stock. Banjo fruit out of stock. Apple, 4 shillings a dozen. Turnips out of stock. Red parsnip out of stock. Cucumber, 5 shillings. And Sirio tea out of stock. Crates, on the other hand, are in stock. I'm not going to spend any of my hard-earned shillings on your fruit and veg. It'll be entirely out of character. On the other hand, hello. The Unseen, an original adventure in which you are the hero by R. Skaki. You are on your way back to Agartha after some plundering in the abandoned mines near the Dreadlands when a couple of Sarnathi scouts attacked you and massacred your party. You are now rotting in a black and damp cell, awaiting your execution at the hands of the Sarnath. Etc. 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 It's not valuable, is it? No. Alright, uh... mm. Alright, you did not wake up. Problem is, he's got a scroll next to him I kind of want to see. Mm. And some candlesticks I kind of want to. <clears throat> Mr. Philip, I beg you, do something. Pops went to see the mechanists, all angry-like, to ask them to stop their racket. You know how he is when someone wakes him from his nap. It's been five hours and he's still not home. I fear something bad happened. There are tons of wild rumours about the mechanists. Ask friend Judo if he doesn't know anything about it. He's the least hoity-toity of them. Offer him the Toffee's bag, pot bellied brown, Govis, if that makes him talk. As I heard, he gobbles anything sugary like a pig as soon as the superior father has his back turned. Somebody being kidnapped by the mechanists, or merely, uh... <clears throat> Enjoying that time there. What did you call me? I guess it's, I guess it's accurate. <laughs> Speaking of Taffas, the problem is if I chop down this banner, if I attempt to chop down this banner, I'm almost certainly going to wake him up, right? <gasps> Someone there? No, I oh, Steve, I see you there! It's not even a banner? Is it... Uh, ah. Ow! It's not even a banner. I shed my blood for a fake banner. Just kill me now. Okay. How's that feel? We're actually... Oh, this is... Clearly a door leading onto a hallway, but it's not a door. Again. Sat under the table. What is that? Oh, it's a crumpled playbill. Okay. Uh that one's on. Don't you see that door is good? That's not a door. It doesn't look like a door. It's clearly a, just a texture. It says, hey, this world is bigger, but we're not going to try and make you think you can go here and waste your time walking up to a door that doesn't open. Alright, so I can't go up, apparently. I mean, this. I could maybe go up there, actually. Ledge. We come all this way out. Oh shit! Sure. Speak up. Nobody. Come out and fight me. There's nobody out here. That was unfortunate. Oh well. I don't know what it was. I can get on this ledge, but I can also get on that roof of garden if he decides to uh, go back indoors.
Hello? Show yourself. Maybe one. <coughs> Check the chest in a minute. But, uh, this guy's coming back quickly. Oh, we have another balcony. This goes up quite high. It's very nice. <coughs> Just a rip out of And that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Do I trust my ability to jump over there? I'm not sure. In Thief 1, yes, easily. In Thief 2? <coughs> I'm just really not certain. Maybe I just go higher on the building one. What is, what is my objective anyway? Find a valuable item below the mechanist sanctuarium. Find three of these as mechanist baubles. And the funeral mask, which I forget who it was who was supposed to have it. So that's good. It doesn't tell me. <coughs> yeah, just, just, you know, explore the entire map until you find a funeral mask, I suppose. Alright, let's try going up higher. Alright, we've got these crates. It must be good for something. Very precarious. I don't know how you get them up there. You need to... Uh, uh, rather tall crane. And there's no room to run a crane in this. Not even any good rooftops to mount a crane on. This must be now. Uh, I guess. And snoring. Yeah, these are also not banners. Hmm. Okay, just a little strange little dead end. I keep going up. I mean, there is more up above, but uh, it does look difficult to get out. Maybe if I make a lot of noise here, alerting the arch down below again. Thanks, Garrett, for dismantling <laughs> prowess there. And I can get up on this ledge, but I can't really properly stand on it. Just slide my belly around it. I guess not. So that's ah! probably a bad idea. It looked it looked like I could climb there, but I f is this roof going to be climbable? No, probably not. It's hard to say, but probably not. What about if I go over this chair again? A tiny ledge. That's not. It's really just. Good for bellies. Uh, I, hate, I really hate when people make tiny little ledges. It's like, hey, look, tempting you to go around, and then you can't. You fall to your death. It's like, if you're gonna make a f little, if you're gonna make a beautiful vertical level, don't make it so you fall to your death every five minutes. It's within your power as a mission author not to make the whole place a death trap. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> oh. Oh, you thought he saw me again. I'll find you. <sighs> Just my imagination, I suppose. There's a story. Bricked up window that's not fully bricked up. With some spooky laughter coming from it. <coughs> like, see, that's a ledge that's clearly meant to be walked on, but it's much too oh, narrow. Uh, I'll stop complaining eventually, but. Ladder going up to what? 
and repair, I suppose. Nice view. More steel beams there. Another ledge that's not safely walkable. Is that somebody indoors I was hearing? Blood on the floor. Hey, who's there? Work out. Excellent work. You can't hide forever. Lumping on the desk as your feet went down about an inch. That, was... that is the mask. Okay. Am I hitting somebody above me? That's okay. That's fortunate. Just finding the mask like that. Um, that was the engine's fault, not the author's fault, but again, it can be mitigated. There is somebody in here. Where? I'll turn you up sooner or later. I'm not sure who's still yelling at me, but. Maybe it's just drops of apple juice, not blood. Is someone there? You can't hide forever. Hmm. Must have been rats. How repulsive. <laughs> Singing in the bars. Can I turn the lights off? Come, come, what's that? Just one move, Tapper, in your mind. Who's who's yelling about Tappers? Not this guard, is it? He seems to be just patrolling up and down the stairs, not like chasing invisible Tappers. Come to Papa now. It is him. What the hell? Are they glitched or were they the tags entered so he's always using searching voice lines? Dead, I tell you, as soon as I find you. I feel like if that was a glitch. Um, who's there? Don't slouch a boat in the shadows. Oh, this guy's sight is pretty terrible. Oh, it's just a toilet. Standing in the bath with his clothes on. Oh, I thought there was a coin in the bath. It's the drain. Oh, once again, we're going to wait for the guard to come again. Dead, I tell you, as soon as I find you. Huh? What? It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Third time this shift. It's gotta be also gotta that way. Down. Those idle, idle lines have been changed. <clears throat> That's bizarre. I mean, I guess we know, we know from. Into the odd that Squad of Foreign likes to do uh, weird things to kind of troll players. I suppose. Noise on the metal there. Someone say something. Something? It's never really anything. Is that, is that rat squeaking I'm hearing? Hmm, 
It's a hammerite, I think it, not a megalist one. I'm back down near street level. We jump across that ledge, but again, there's not a ledge that's safe to stand on, so what's my plan for getting down? Uh, that's a really good question. I could jump onto that buttress. Maybe, maybe we could get there and land quietly. Maybe not land quietly and wake this fellow up on his uh, dawdling patrols. The settling did so unnatural traps that we feared are the forms. That's good. I like the. Uh, they put the air elemental on top of the uh, electric device there. It's not. It doesn't come like that stock. Unlike the, the lampposts, the street lamps do come like that stock. All right, so we were up there before. Okay, well that was successful enough as hell, weird noises in the streets. Oh, this is where we started. Just bizarre mechanist throat singing, I guess. Let's get a patrol pass and run around behind. <coughs> well, at least that was my idea. Let's see if he notices a banner chopped down. <coughs> nope. And Carus said, "Let us give thanks." Great caress, a sermon for the citizens. The gold is for the lord, silver for the maid, copper for the craftsman, cunning at his trade. Excellent, said Caras, sitting in his hall. But iron, cold iron, is ruler of them all. Announcement, announcement, announcement. The urgent need of a young lass for serving liquors and grubs alike. Someone who isn't bothered by the local scoundrel's wandering gritty hands. And especially who doesn't spit in the drinks of the patrons. A good bowl of warm fermental is offered on the house in addition to a purse of yellow oinkers. If you're interested, please come and ask Gerton at the coronet. Hear all, hear all, for as much as our lord the baron is engaged in his war against his enemies in Blackbrook, and every man ought to be asked to keep and maintain his peace, it is ordained and granted by the lord mayors, burgomasters, wharfmasters, brigmasters, and aldermen of the city, for maintaining the peace between all manner of folks, that no person, denizen or stranger, other than lawmen of the city, men of the builder, and those who have to keep the peace, shall go armed or shall carry arms by night or by day within the franchise of the city on pain of imprisonment and of losing their arms. Also it is agreed that whosoever shall draw a sword or knife or other arm in a fray of the people shall be forthwith chained and imprisoned without being left to find surety, according to the discretion of the lawmen of the city. Tu ne quede malis sed contra audientor ito. Thusly declared and written, Captain Goldman Truitt of the Baron's Police. Wow. Truitt speaks Latin. But, uh. I'm trying to remember where it's from. That line that Paris of Home ended with Iron, Cold Iron, shall be master of them all is. Where's, where's that? Wrong. Okay, this is the mechanist place. I don't want to be going in here just yet. I also don't want to be riding up that patrolling mechanist. Or maybe I do want to be. Oh, hello, that's a trapdoor, is there a was one? Except maybe not, it's, it's, a, it's just a stock texture. It is a trap though. Okay. Area 411. Alright. 
Find the ladder, please. Another row of arrows. More brick up windows. Is that all that's here in this place? A rope arrow? Nothing more? <laughs> I mean, there's no law saying there has to be more, but uh, I mean, there's a mechanist trinket. Is that not the, the kind that people desire? Can't pick up the sandbags and move it. And I mean, there's a, you know, a theoretical doorway there, but it's probably not a doorway in practice. Hmm, lots of mechanist machinery. Click clacking away. This feels like it's a, uh, got to open, right? Perhaps not from this side? Ah, oh, there we are. Oh, that's... Okay, that's a different switch. What it's this? Okay, well, we'll take some Lost City artifacts and dice. I guess this is... Oh. X marks the spot. This must be where they're planning a heist. This is there's lockpicks here. This is clearly a thief's hideout, right? Hello. Any more loot out there? I think you can hide it from me. Although getting it might be dangerous. So my loot goal already. Carrot, can 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 you read in mid air, please? Prepare to relocate unlawful elements connected with F and G are roaming the streets tonight. It is unknown for now if they are related to each other, but don't treat G like your average criminal. He's got the entire city on his side. The buildings, the alleys, the lights, everything. Your hideout will surely be compromised. Beware of the hidden men. They are watching us from the shadows. SQ. Mm. What was that? Who knows? he come from? There were no other doors. Um, so I've been, I've been, I've been reading out the uh, typos just kind of for fun, not, not, not to make mockery, just because I find they've been, uh, entertaining typos. Lolful. Did he open that? Well, I think he's gonna sleep. You know, I think I think sleeping is probably the best thing for him right now. Come on, man, turn around, turn around, turn around. What? Grin while you can, tap. Bye bye. You're going down. I mean, yeah, because down is the way to go from here. Don't stay hidden for long. Or maybe not. Mm. Is this, does this open? Damn. Can't fit through there. Oh, no, there's a conveniently placed rope arrow already. Well, semi conveniently. That's gonna drop, that's gonna collapse on it, isn't it? No. You mind. Hmm. Is it 
gas arrow, I would like to have it. But touching these gears is instant death. Like the ones in Into the Yard that I'm dying to. <laughs> or trying to swim. Well, that it to you without even knowing what was happening. It's like a swimming thing and suddenly died. It turned out the reason was that there were gears of death. Say something about the typos. That is a repair I can't even pick up. Um, yeah, I've been reading the typos, you know, but uh, what I wanted to say is like, not just to say that, you know, I appreciate the writing, but I really do appreciate the writing because Scott of Ryan's writing is always extremely engaging to read and entertaining, uh, and typos do not matter one bit for that. Is this just nothing? After all that? Oh. Less something on that side of the metal. No. And I can't get I can't get in there, so I can't get out there. I guess this is just a dead end. Well, guess we're gonna go past Thief Man here after all. Oh no, we're gonna go make him sleep. Flashing lights make me slightly visible, but not so much as to be a problem, I guess. Yeah, I guess I never really didn't have any idea how big this mission is. It seems like a pretty small one. It's highly, uh, highly packed with detail. All right, so we want. Guess we're going into the mechanist place now. Reuse these mechanist baubles. So we're gonna go through the sanctuarium. Uh oop. prepare for thy stomping, we No, I don't wanna be stomped. We shall catch thee sooner or later. Huh. The builder will guide me to thee, weed. Oh, that she immediately lost me. Just kid. For I've lost track of the villain. Uh, the poem. The poem. It's by Kipling. I remember that. I can hear thy trembling breath. Don't remember which one it is. <coughs> That's a cool visual. Like, use the semi-transparent stained glass window, but it's not so that AIs can see out and, and see you clearly when you can barely see them. It's just, you look through and you can see all the gears winding away inside and mechanisms. Only cowards hide, so... It's very cool. 
<coughs> Is she stuck now? Dang it, I think she's stuck now. No, she's searching. Oh, great. He's decided to start searching too. And he's come up here where I actually am, which is... <coughs> yeah, unfortunate for him, honestly. Alright. We shall resolve the problems then. Since I had to spend the water arrow on you. Wait, there was a big one. Now this guy's not patrolling the street. Can I deal with the big banner? Can I reach the big banner? Well, yes, I can reach it. What? Dang it. Get the bloody sign. Alright, let's try that again without the unnecessary sign vandalism. Oh, you know what? Maybe a much easier way if we go this way. Let's try it this way instead. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy reloading this nonsense because it is just, it is just me chopping down banner nonsense. Oh, is that just texture, not banner? Not an object. It's stretched. It's hard to say. <laughs> oh, but that's what it's coming up here for, I guess. So have we been all over the roofs before I go into this place? Like, we went up there, we went up on his place. We jumped across there, we went all across there. I guess we have been on all the roofs, because it's... Maybe not. Is that a wooden beam? No, that's a metal chimney. Pipe spewing smoke. You know, this even might be a really good screenshot from all this. Because it is, does look very cool looking up at a place like this. Alright, let's go in. I don't know if there's another way in. Well, actually, looking at that... Looks like a vent there. There might be a way in. I can't see how you get... Oh, I can't see how you get there. Let's try that instead. Alright, mantle, please. Uh... Oh, this is... this. Box has a th really thin edge. This box is going to be a hazardous to jump from. And we'll be trying to jump to that ledge. Can we stand on this? <laughs> yes. No. Sort of. We just mantle this and, and just do this in a very new mantle ish way. Awkward, but possible. Not even a noisy metal claw. What are all these mechanists thinking? It's all sandy and collapsing. Oh, that's worthless. Go in here. Just scout for a minute. I did hear someone walking around while we were um, standing by the open grate. What dragonfly? 
my fits about. <clears throat> the answer is yes, somebody comes up here. And also, thankfully, despite me getting kind of stuck on the door in the geometry, they did not hear me. That's a very small deer. Alphabetum Caracetus. Expositio Liber Petra Secundum Caras. Liber de Institutione Primorum Discipulum. And evil banners die. What have we got going on here? More valuables. Master Rudolphus, I did not deem it needful to tell about the discovery of this brown litiar during the installation of the cold cellarage because ut proverbium loquitur waitus, it was more smoke than fire. We did not even find anything interesting within the stagnant waters beside two wooden relics from a mysterium, mysterious hammerite order. We shall be sending these artifacts to the Soul Forge chamber during this night so they can be studied and happily destroyed within the graced forge as per the wishes of our benevolent prophet regarding any effigies that would be forward to the Master Builder's laws. In the meantime, I pray thee to conceal this subject, as our Prophet does not need his followers to squabble over such petty affairs. Pray thee do not feel the need to check thyself this slitch yard. It's not worth the time. Let thy boiler never get cold. Superior friend of Vilnius. Uh... Two wooden relics from a mysterious hammerite. Order in the Soul Forge chamber. And during the Senate, during the week. And throw it is another good word that uh, does not get used much. It's actually uh, it's a stupid thing. Uh, there's, uh, there's a line in the Lord of the Rings where. Um, ooh. They did anything. It says, like, uh, face will harm me a froward tongue. And in, like, half the printed editions of Lord of the Rings, it's been wrongly corrected, miscorrected, to forward. Instead of froward. What was I, what was I, why was I hiding in the dark? Because there's a guy that comes in here. How far does he come in here? I guess we'll find out. Oh, he has a gear on his. No, he doesn't. I forget. Mayhap one of the trinkets he needs is in through that gate. Right. Let's find out where's the where's the gear. This lights up? No, it just has a light in it. A lot of noise too, which is very weird because it does not travel. It's just a lesser icon of the gear, I guess, that flashes and flickers. I should get my rope back. I don't think my instructions are clear. None shall pass. Found foe. Well, he heard me, but he did not see me, so I guess that's a good news. He shall sleep backwards on his bed as punishment for his many sins. Okay. Years of death. Spread carefully. Oh, 
Oh, right, this is where we would come in. Okay. Observation room. I was going to say, if you, can you imagine just sitting there in that chair reading books with all this noise? But no, there's glass on the window, so. want to be observing, but thankfully not having to listen, I'm sure. Oh, that's not a door. Despite it having a door handle and everything. Ditto. The evil banners that, come, that are so evil they are impervious to my depredations. Would that be one of the mechanist bobbles? Or is it just a valuable gear? I don't know. I have no idea what loot we're looking for in terms of these three mechanist baubles we're supposed to be dealing with. Not dealing all burning old hemorrhite books. I mean, it's a good idea, but you should probably burn your mechanist ones too. They're also equal tosh. Flash mine. Two. Should say tetrahedrons? They're not. They're pyramids. With, uh, five sides. Well, four sides in the bottom. Depending on how you like to count. Flash bomb. And potions. Handles. Oh, okay, that door does open, just not from. Alright, so the ladder has a purpose. And that's the archer I can hear. I guess. That we encountered before. Creek full of dirt. Hello. Creek full of climbing. A bottle full of ding. I haven't seen a single sign of a objective mechanist bauble. Lectures on St. Gregorian's last theorem about forbidden mathematics. What trivial mysteries with formulas, graphics, etc., and sequer, and yes, uh... not etc. It's uh, it's I don't know. Four and the following? I mean, it should be. Etc. is semantically correct, then, right? It's what you would expect. It's like. And. And other things. But no, it's and. Following. I don't know. Don't suppose it matters much at all. 57. Oh, okay, that is that does count as a mechanist bubble. Of of worth, hello, sir. The minecart there. So down in the cold storage. Am I hearing a guy walking through the water there? Flare, flash mine. Dead spider. Old torn up hammerite banner. Where am I hearing these footsteps from? It's definitely a, like a mechanist or hammerite. They sounded like they were coming pretty close, but they wouldn't be walking through the water. Surely. Oh, well, they are. Oh, I guess they're wearing a wetsuit, so... They really ought to be splashing a bit as they do that, but... Uh, that would be extra work. 
to make a set of footsteps that have include splash sounds and change the ground material layer. Or change the tags on the on the character when they step in the water, which is harder to do. <coughs> Trips and I shall follow. <laughs> if you don't start traipsing soon, I'm gonna hit you on the head. Three, two, <laughs> one. All right, you asked for it. <laughs> Join the spider. <laughs> This was, uh, this was the cold storage, and I guess it is merely, it has become the damp storage instead. There is something up there, but uh, climbing, climbing, uh, floating crates is not a really reliable thing to do in dark engine physics. I mean, it shouldn't be. It makes kind of makes sense as well. So they would just like twist around, and fall over, and you would not expect them to stay stable enough to stand on, really. We read these scrolls? Nope. So we can put that out. So, hang on. Did we have that? Did I get that note of the described things? No. Two old wooden hammerite relics, which they were. And then there was something about below the cold storage item. I guess we shall see what we shall see. Oh well, let's jump in here, shall we? Oh. There's a deep sea mechanist diver down there. Esteemed friends, news of the secluded burial ground. News of the secluded burial ground must never get up of these secret walls. The master builder, in his infinite benevolence, hath offered us a gift, and I shall use it to renovate this church with the purpose of letting us comfortably meditate. Howbeit, I received a missive from Master Rudolphus this morning, asking me to explain myself on why I deemed it wasn't necessary to inform Soulforge the chamber of its existence. This is unacceptable. Not only do loose tongues endanger my position as a superior friend, but they could also prevent us from enjoying warm meals and meats. Let friend Melisander's fate be an example of what awaits those whose mouths cannot hold secrets when I catch them. Let the gear endlessly turn. Superior friend Vilnius. Another breath potion. Okay, that's two of them. Do you have anything on your belt? You do indeed. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like we are probably going to require these breath potions, so let's make sure they're handy. This is this is the way that I rate fan missions, is I look at this and just screen press screenshot and that's the score that it gets. Um you know, I just fire up this mission and use this particular gauge. Alright, let's go swimming.
shit, that's gonna need a key. Let's get some breath back. Time my dives. Get off the get off the fucking ladder. God, I'm fucking stuck. I'm literally stuck. Cool. Thank you, engine. Could not move. Follow them, I think. Now, who's the fucking guarding the entrance? Alright, let's go behind them. Oh, that's the, the wrong door. Dang it. At least, at least you can swim up a ladder really quickly, which is a little odd, but quite convenient. Okay, this is the way I wanted to go. in here. So where's the key that I need? Oh, it was the ladder that I got stuck on before, the bottom of the ladder. Interesting. You don't have a key, do you? No. Statue of Death does not seem to have a key. Hmm. I don't have a key, do I? I haven't found one. I could throw a gas mine down, but you know, they should be immune to gas mines in that oxygenated helmet of theirs. Where would this key be hiding? Shit, they might have seen me. Yeah, they saw me. Dang it! I will eat the food. We do have a lot of apples. Now that's going to make it a real pain though, to try and search around there, down there. Surely the key is down there. I haven't seen, didn't see any sign of the key up here. Can't use the helmet. They didn't have a key. My aim is. Your aim sucks. Is this key? Reveal thyself and serve. Also can't knock this this one out either in that big metal helmet. Is the key in here? I mean I didn't see a key. There was a hammer, there was a skull, and a gong. No, oh there is a key. Okay, okay. That makes sense. It's just almost invisible. It's a white key on the white. All right. Save. Let's go. 
Let's try again. Let's not get the velocity away. Also, our friend, I think, is in front of the wrong of the doorway we need. Wait till we can see them again. Mysterious underground place with a uh, seven arm. What does this uh, t tell us? Halt! Trouble! Pen! Bainer is eternal penance, not for he didn't respect his elders' law, and for a thousand years he shall seek death, and death shall flee from his grave. <laughs> it's not a seven arm. I think it's buried arm. No, we're just going to take his loot anyway, you know, we don't... Uh, <laughs> Very nicely done. Heard something. Oh! Oh! He is here and he is unhappy, I think. And rather disjointed. We're going to make a run for it. But I'm going to go back and confer a place to look. You know, this is an interesting opportunity for science. What's that? Oh, that's his hand. That's just like it's like it's attached. The hand of glory. So yeah, he's just disembodied parts that have kind of been semi-reembodied. All right. Well, return to the gate where we started. Let's try to do that. All right. So the thing about the wooden hammerite artifacts was not relevant to this. Shame the cheese is ruined. Such a waste. Alright. Oh, we can't get it out that way. Where was the way out? Just up here somewhere. Very cool little mission. We got, actually had a lot more tools, like get two gas mines, blowfall, invisibility, stuff that I didn't need. Where was the gate where I started? Out here? Yes, by the pub. Very neat. Um, poor tiny mission. Very, very dense. Uh, and I still missed 240 loot somewhere around. Not sure where it was hiding, but uh, that's alright, I don't mind not getting 100% of the loot. I was a little worried when the, the lowest difficulty loot goal was 200. Um, and then it went up to 800, then maybe 800 was close to all there was, but no, 800 was less than half of what there was. So that's what it's a watery grave, which became someone else's, which was someone else's watery grave, and thankfully not mine. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you here soon for the next mission.